there, Eva Zacharia here for The Daily Meal. Today, personal chef and culinary nutritionist Diane Hendricks is in the kitchen with her good friend and chef Sarah Moulton, whipping up a pork and watermelon dish. Hi, I'm Diane Hendricks and welcome to Chef Inspired Healthy. Today in The Daily Meal kitchen, we have Sarah Moulton, beloved television chef, cookbook author, and protege of Julia Child. Welcome. It's so nice to see well, you Diane, again. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's so yeah. great. So you're heading into your fourth season of Sarah's yes. Weeknight Meals. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's 20 episodes. I've got six guests, and um, it's all about getting dinner on the table during the work week. And that's on PBS, right? Yes, and it starts airing around the country on June 18th. Okay, great. So what are we making today? I can't wait. We are making a grilled pork tenderloin, although okay. you could certainly do it on top of a stove, right. but it's summertime, right. with a salad that's got arugula, but the star is really watermelon. So we're going to start with the pork. Okay, what we are you got doing? a pork tenderloin. I'm just going to... You know, it gets a little thick at the, uh, it's thick at the top and thin at the end, so I am going to cut it about where it starts to thin out. We'll cut it, we'll cook it in two pieces so it cooks more evenly. Okay. Yes, you do the salt and I'll do the pepper. Okay. This is olive oil spray. Right. But you can also just brush it with a little olive oil. And you great. want to put that on the grill? Absolutely. And I'm going to wash my hands because okay, I've just been with raw. And it's very important to wash your hands after you've been working with raw meat. No cross-contamination, right? Absolutely. Okay, let me do that quick. Let's, now, do, let's do the pita. Okay. So I'm going to make our own pita crisps. And then we're just going to cut it into little triangles. And these go into a 400-degree oven for about four to five minutes. So now... Okay. We're going to move on to the dressing. It's a buttermilk feta dressing. Love that. And it's it's got tons of flavor. And then a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You and want you to know, squeeze I always in a that tablespoon of lemon too. juice. Okay. So about a tablespoon. Yeah, there we go. And I love lemons like my new favorite thing. Okay, so now we're just going to blend this up. Uh, let's see how our pork is doing. You want to put it here and we'll take a look at it. Okay. It looks delicious. Yeah. Look at that. Mm, nice, nice yummy, yummy. Good turning. What I usually do when you take its temperature, we're looking for 140 again. You put it in lengthwise. So, okay, that looks good. And it needs to rest for 10 minutes. So let's move on to okay. the watermelon. I just wanted to pause for a second and talk about how to pick a watermelon. Okay. And this is the key part, this little bold spot in the mm -hmm. bottom. I learned this from the watermelon people <laughs> that when a watermelon grows, okay, so it's getting all this sunlight, and if it hasn't ripened far enough, it'll be green all the way around. Right. But as it sits and the sunlight only hits the top, the bottom, because it's not having any photosynthesis, gets first white and then yellow. I'd, I'd like this to be even yellower, actually. Right. Which means it's sat longer. It's sat longer, which right. means it's more mature, which means that it's better for us. Oh, see, this is oh beautiful. Oh, my goodness. The darker the color, the better it is for the you. The more nutrition. So I'll just sort of peel off one side. This is my favorite way to, you know, it's like when you cut an orange. You're going to dice this? Yes, I'm going to dice this. Now, while you're cutting that, what do we have going on over here? Okay, We've got so arugula. Arugula in there. You can add a little bit of chopped up cucumber. Again, that's the seedless cucumber. Yeah. Because it's got a thinner or skin. English. Yeah, English. It's got a Skin. Red onion. Now, I'm just adding it raw, but what I'll do sometimes to get rid of the bite is soak it in ice and water for yeah. about 20 minutes. Cilantro. You can't go wrong with yeah. cilantro. I and love then it. If you could rip up the sure. mint a little bit. Actually, we don't need all of this, so, but okay. this, I just love this tool. This is supposed to be for cakes, Yeah. but I use it for things like this. Oh, it's wonderful. So, yeah. And then I'll, and my, I'm just going to toss this up right. just a little bit. I'm just making an there individual little portion. Well, that's, Look at that's that. enough for the oh two my gosh, of us. That's right. so delicious. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Now I'm going to add the resting juices from the pork to my sauce. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Yes, yeah, see all this. This oh is what marries the pork to the sauce. This, so, this is. I'm going to make it work for four people. So it's a one-pound pork okay, tenderloin. Okay, so this so is going to be four for ounce. four. Oh yeah, my gosh. and the idea I think is is. Uh, you know, if you slice it really thin, it's what I refer to as the psychology of serving. Mm -hmm. If you give them a whole wadge of meat, they're just going to eat the whole thing. Right. But if you slice it up and fan it out, they're like, wow, that's a lot of meat. I feel good. Right. Yep. And then we'll drizzle. Oh my gosh, Sarah, this looks delicious. Well, thank you. I, I forgot the last important thing. We made these homemade pita crisps. The crunch. So, yeah, the crunch. So you can either just serve them and put the salad on it, or you can crush them up like croutons and put them on top. Well, you could almost do something like this, too. Yes, you could. Like a little, make like a little, yeah. little tapas. Salsa. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Better than watermelon spiff. Well, thank you for watching Chef Inspired Healthy with the one and only Sarah Moulton. Well, thank you, Diane. Tune in next time for our next rock star chef. You can find this and more healthy recipes on The Daily Meal.